When individuals and families in our community face tough times, the Center for Economic Empowerment and Development, or SEED, is there to help with resources and advocacy. For those looking to start a business, SEED provides access to small business loans, as well as training and workshops. In response to the need for safe, affordable housing in Cumberland County, SEED has a lease to home program. Executive Director Sylvia Ray tells us about how SEED is making a difference in the lives of our citizens. As some of your viewers may know, we were a women's center until this past year, and we really started out 21 years ago as a sort of traditional women's center um, serving women and children. Um, but over the years, particularly because of our small business center funded by the SBA and the county, we, and we were getting a lot of men clients through that program and through our Lease to Home program, we realized that we really needed to change the name. And um, lots of soul searching with the board and the staff, and it, it took a long time. People had a real strong feeling about women's centers but it was time and we were losing clients and so we're here to serve people in this community and so we decided to change the name. And we are about economic empowerment and so seed, growing a seed seemed to be a good name. Well, we have the New Choices Program which really targets more displaced homemakers who are, need to go back to work to support their families. Um, we help them go back to school. It's generally been programs at Fayetteville Tech and we can help with um, books or um, transportation, things that they can't get through a grant. Our business center, as I said, funded by the Small Business Administration, and we were the first in the state. Um, we help small businesses grow or help people get them started. They can come in and find out if they have a good idea, whether it's the time to pursue that small business or not. Uh, we have loans that are available. We have some of our own funding here. It's a, it's a small amount of money that people can um, borrow to start a small business. And of course, we have our Lease to Home program, which has been very successful helping families um, get into permanent housing, maybe rentals with the hope to become homeowners, or, or strictly rentals. We do have some units that are, are long-term rentals. We have been working with the state with some funds through the Neighborhood Stabilization Program and buying foreclosures through that. We had a client in the past few months who was, was essentially homeless. She was staying with family, but you know, if you don't have a lease and a right to be there, you're, you're considered homeless. And because of this program, we placed her in a home that she will eventually buy for herself and her 14-year-old son. And, you know, to have been sleeping on the floor in a relative's house to knowing that this, this house can be yours at some point. You know, you can't remember everybody, but some certainly stand out. And it's always been one of the things I've always said is that People say, you know, well, nonprofits do good work, and we do, but I would say what we get back as a staff far exceeds what we're able to do for people. Well, all of our classes are online, so we have classes in, you know, getting started on a business and, you know, marketing, that sort of thing. Um, we have orientations for the housing program on a regular basis and for the New Choices program, but we're real excited uh, we're going to be having our third annual Dancing with the Fable Stars Gala on April 9th. Um, people can call here for tickets, and um, it's a lot of fun. I think people are very surprised to see some of our local ce celebrities who dance. <laughs> and it's, it's fun, and every penny of the net proceeds go toward um, renovating or um, purchasing a home for someone. Past two galas, the proceeds built, helped build two, three houses right here. And those are, families are in those houses with, with the goal of owning them at some point. I think all nonprofits are facing challenges with cutbacks in funding. And I think the challenge, though, is to get the word out about what we do. You know, there's still people who think we're a homeless shelter or we're a domestic violence center. And those things are wonderful but that's not what we do. And we've been doing this for 21 years, and so 
We hope people will get the word at some point. Seed is located downtown, right across from the Cameo. We have been in this location for um, about 15 or 16 years. I want to say that we've always been a community organization. We're not under any state government, you know. We do get funds from the government, but we are a part of this community. And we, we are so grateful for the support we've gotten from both agencies, foundations here, um, and the public. Without that support, we, we wouldn't exist.